Hi everyone, I'm Amber Poole, the Chakra Diva. I am a Crystal Reiki master as well as a teacher. I offer online courses worldwide and you can go to thechakradiva.com to learn how you can become a wonderful Crystal Reiki master as well. Today we are going to look at the aura, how to diagnose the aura and looking for holes, leaks, and tears within the auric field of this client as well as how to seal it up. So it's a two-part and the first thing that you need is your pendulum. So this is my healing pendulum and what you want to do is come down to the end of the feet and all of a sudden your pendulum will start swinging back and forth and as you move up towards her body do you notice that there's a shift right here it turns in a different motion so right here we have located a hole a tear or a leak within the auric field and you're going around her body and if you notice again it's shifting right here it goes back and forth so back and forth is an indication that the chakra, not the chakra, that the aura is sealed up. Whenever it turns around in a circle, then it is open, then that is where a tear, a hole could, could get through. Um, people who drain you, like energy vampires, they suck out the energy within you and it's coming through your auric field. So if you have a hole or a tear within your energy field, then you will want to seal it up. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to go all throughout her body and then come back down to show you how it would be if you were actually in a healing session with a client. So again, you start at the bottom of her feet and the aura is on the outside of the body. You're not going over the chakras. You're going on the outside. Okay, so location of, of a tear. Then it, right there, do you see how it goes back? So you go all throughout her body to the top of the head. And you want to walk kind of slow because that gives your pendulum the chance to move and turn throughout. So we're going back down. It's going left to right, left to right, which is really good. Okay, throughout her knees, on the side of her knee. Here's a tear right here, a hole right here. Wait, does this knee hurt? Okay, so she actually has physical pain on this knee. And what happens is you have your aura, which is all around you. And if there's a tear or a leak, then the energy is draining out of here. So she actually has a physical issue. It's coming through her aura. You want to strengthen the aura to assist with this knee. Then we're coming down. And everything looks good around here. So after you assess, you are essentially assessing the aura and where there may be these leaks, these tears, then you want to seal it up. And the best way to seal up an aura or to fix it is with a selenite wand. Selenite is very high vibrational. It does not need to be cleansed. However, I highly recommend on charging it within the moonlight. So let me show you how to do this. You will grab your selenite wand. Mine is extremely large in size. You can find them um, fairly inexpensive. I think this guy was probably $20, $25. And you want to start at the top of her head. And you are clearing off any debris or any stuckness, any tears, any energy until it's smooth. You want to have a smooth aura. So if you are bringing this down and it gets stuck on energy, lift it up a little bit more and run it through again. Okay, so you bring it down the front. Then you're going to bring it down the sides. And remember, she has an energy tear right here. So we're going to spend extra time on that with the wand. And you want to go over it a few times and even move out, okay, because the aura is surrounding the body. It's not just on top of the body. So you want to move out to make sure that all layers are being sealed. And then you can resume and bring it down the rest of the way. 
And you also want to make sure that you do the left side as well. And you bring this down right through here. And the elbow vein. Shoulder. Shoulder. Okay. So you can see as I'm like moving it down, it gets it kind of gets stuck or it, it like um, you can't pull straight down. So you have to comb the selenite wand through until it glides gently. Okay, and we're going on the outside of the body to where her field is. And if there's anything that you want to pan over, I like to bring the selenite wand in and you will notice a difference. Like you can feel her aura, which is beautiful and lovely. <laughs> All right, so that is essentially how you find out where any tears or any holes are within your energy field, within your aura, and also how to seal and protect it. You can go around with a selenite a miniature one in your pocket and just scan over your aura throughout the day, but some tips to strengthen your aura. If you want to keep it healthy and strong, you want to drink plenty of fluids. That helps keep the vibration high. You want to make sure that you have a high vibration, maybe put on some music, sing, dance. When you are in a joyful state, your aura is also very joyful. When you are in a lower state, a lower vibration, then it weakens your aura. So do things that really uplift you and make you feel good. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can visit thechakradiva.com. Please go to thechakradiva.com to look at the courses that are being held. And there's a live course that goes on June 4th. Hope to see you there.